Hey there, Tundra Nation, and welcome back to the channel today on Tundra Tactical. We are talking to mostly our new gun owners once again. We have come up with five cheap holster options to get the most pew out of your buck. Some of you more experienced gun owners might still learn a thing or two, but judging by the comment section of our last beginner video, my faith in your learning ability, well, it's almost non-existent at this point. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help us tell YouTube that people do like gun content and force them to give me a play button. All right, folks, it's time to sit back, loosen that carry belt, and let's start the show. As the winter months set in upon us, the Tundra staff has realized that many of you change your EDCs to match the clothing that we wear during these cold times. Some of you lucky jerks might have even received a new gun for Christmas, but finding that right carry holster can be very overwhelming even for the most seasoned enthusiast. We have come up with five solutions that every new gun owner should consider. Now this video will trigger stupid people that don't have an understanding of humor. So make sure to watch until the end and check out the comments section to see what happens. It's a trap. First up, we have the ever popular Serpa holster from the company Blackhawk. No, that's not what you think I said, folks. I said Black Hawk, you filthy degens. Anyways, these reputable and solid holsters draw the eye of many gun owners as they seem to be robust, made for many different makes and models, and it even has an active retention device. Now this retention device is in the exact spot on the holster where as you press your finger for the draw, your finger should slide right off the trigger guard and onto the trigger, as the cool guys would suggest. Well, that's my safety, sir. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with that setup, am I right? I just shot myself. Hey, nice shooting, Tex. Another option is Uncle Mike's holsters. Just the name itself sounds wholesome and inviting. Totally not creepy at all. You might have gotten some gun advice from your Uncle Mike at one point, so this just sounds and feels good. You go and type it into Google and you see that they are available at Walmart, so off you go. When you get to the sporting goods section of your local Wally World, you find several options amongst the absolutely destroyed aisle full of camo clothing strewn about everywhere and not a single gun accessory is in the correct location, so knowing the actual price is more of a mystery for the Scooby-Doo gang to solve. Fighting your way through this mess, you find a nice, soft Uncle Mike's universal style nylon holster. It has a laundry list of firearms that will fit and yours is nestled in there as well. You turn to ask the clerk about the price but quickly decide against it as you can't help but stare and wonder if the number of missing teeth is higher than the degrees which that lazy eye is off center. <laughs> oh, good job, writer. You start to question altogether if this is even the best place to buy firearms, but you go with it anyways. You cash out and go home, and upon arriving, you take it inside and give it a try. You strap on your belt, and you notice that it's not the snuggest of fits. So you go get your new handgun and put it in there and close the Velcro strap over it. Sure, it moves around inside the holster that's also moving around as you walk through your house, but I'm sure that Velcro will do its job just fine. Wrong. Speaking of ways to carry guns, have you ever bought a belt that just didn't do what it was supposed to? Well, look no further than this week's sponsor, Groove Life Belts. This is literally my new favorite belt, and that is a sentence I never thought I was going to say before the age of 45. With the universe ever expanding, so is the glory of my dad bod, but the Groove Life Belt gets the job done. They have an easy magnetic buckle system and a stretchy material that has just the right amount of support to carry, yet a perfect amount of stretch to let me enjoy my cheeseburgers. This belt, well, it's a winner, folks. They look good enough for almost any occasion, and they are tough enough for almost any job. The Groove Life belt is good for the office, the woods, the backyard, and even sitting in the basement playing video games like me. When the apocalypse hits and we all move to Mars, you're gonna be ready for anything. Here's a warning though, don't wear this if you have a pacemaker or any other medical device that might be affected by magnetic fields. I didn't think I had to say this, but then I remembered we make content for the internet. Check them out by clicking the link down below and get yours today. Are you a fan of 70s and 80s cop shows? Do you often wear a jacket and get in and out of your vehicle a lot? If you said yes, then a shoulder holster might be right for you. 
These rigs keep your gun readily pointed at anyone behind you in a vehicle or in a line at the store or anywhere else for that matter and securely at that. What the hell is wrong with you people? Let's not forget the fact that when drawing from one of those tactical stealth holsters, you are ready to aim at anyone in your sweep path that might just need a reminder of how badass you are. Another perk is that the weight is no longer on your hips, but now up on your shoulders and back, and any 18-year-old fitness guru that you can find at your local Planet Fitness will tell you, always use your back and shoulders to lift. Aesthetically, this is perfect for every occasion, just like that members-only jacket. Fashion never dies, am I right, Steve? Oh, and don't mind that RO at the range that freaks out when you practice your draw stroke. He just doesn't know what style looks like when he sees it. Now all you southern folk, don't fret because we have not forgotten some carry options for your all year warm weather. If your wardrobe consists mostly of basketball shorts and t-shirts, then maybe the arms band is something you should consider. I cannot believe this product is actually called the arms band. That is, <laughs> that is ridiculous. What? This elastic Velcro armband securely holds a smaller gun right in the sweat-soaked portion of your armpit. Drawing this gun might take some practice so you don't end up pointing it right at your upper arm, but on the upside, this might be one of the most concealed ways to carry a gun I have ever seen. It's literally the one place nobody carries a gun. This provides one of the most alpha ways to draw a concealed firearm. There's nothing like having to cross your arms in defiance in front of your attacker just before pulling a move that even dust wouldn't see coming. Oh, you gonna do what? Whoa, 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 relax, relax. What you doing? You in heaven, my boy. No, you got me too. Hell no, man, I did this. I was with him too. Pick up one of these bad boys and join the ranks of arms band Facebook followers, all 14 of them. There was one disclaimer found on a promo video for this product. It said, don't holster or reholster a loaded firearm while wearing the arms band. But really, who would ever want to put their gun back away after having to shoot it? Last on our list is the tactical fanny pack. This super casual carry option is great for people on the go. From shuffleboard to water aerobics to 9.25 a.m. lunchtimes, you will be ready to go with that J-Frame revolver floating around amongst those Werther's Originals and those little strawberry candies that you can only get if you have an AARP membership. You want to carry appendix? Put it up front. You want to carry strong side? Slide that bad boy across. You want to cross draw? Yep, just slide it around to the wrong, I mean the other side. This ultra versatile carry option is a great way to carry medical items like insulin, blood pressure medication, or some ginkgo biloba so you can remember to take your medication and uh, something else. I can't really remember what it is right now. Dang it. Full of old crumbs and lint and old receipts that date back to the stores that went out of business in the 90s, it has never failed your grandfather and it won't fail you. It's a timeless classic and should be revered as such. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations, but do not take any of this advice seriously. No, really, this is all really bad advice and I'm gonna have to have a talk with my writers about it. You should totally find a good company that makes quality fitting holsters such as precision holsters or maybe LAS concealment holsters. Sure, they cost a little bit more, but this is kit that you are trusting your life with. So you, do you really wanna go with the cheapest option? Also, we've been nominated for a Gundy's Award for Breakout Content Creator of the Year and for Most Entertaining Channel. So please visit thegundies.com today and cast your votes each and every day this month. This is where we part ways, folks. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment telling us which holsters we should cover next. Check out these two knee slappers right here. And don't forget to join us next week when we still don't know what the heck we're doing. Bye.